Welcome. This animation will guide you step-by-step -step to transanal irrigation with Navina Smart. To get started with your Navina Smart, make sure you have everything you need. The water container, the control unit, the tube set, the rectal catheter, and any additional accessories depending on your preferred setup. Before you get started, you need to do some preparation. Switch on your Charge Navina Smart control unit using the power button. First, you need to customize your settings. To do this, press the Settings button. This brings you to the setting mode. Right at the top, you find the setting for maximum balloon size. Use the plus and minus buttons to set the size of the inflated balloon, recommended by your healthcare professional. Tap down using the down arrow button. By pressing the plus and minus buttons, you choose the maximum amount of water to be instilled. If you keep going down the list, you find the settings for the water flow rate. Set the desired flow rate for both the high and low flow by pressing the plus and minus buttons. Lastly, you can set a pin number if you want. Once you've done that, you can exit the settings by pressing the settings button. Now the settings are personalized, but before you get started, you need to do some preparation. Expand and fill the water container to the upper mark with lukewarm water. Close the lid gently until you hear a click. Connect the tube with dark blue connectors to the water container and the control unit. Connect to the water container symbol. Now it is time to connect the tube between the control unit and the rectal catheter. Connect the light blue connector to the control unit. Then connect the rectal catheter. To do so, first peel the catheter packaging open two to three centimeters to expose the catheter connection. Don't remove the packaging yet. You'll need it on for a few more steps. Attach the tube with the white connection to the rectal catheter. The packaging can be attached to a vertical surface or placed in a tall glass. Ensure the rectal catheter is within easy reach. Make sure your Navina Smart Control Unit is turned on. Once it's on, press the deflate button to go to the activation mode. Press and hold either one of the water flow buttons to start the water flow. Hold until the water level has reached three quarters of the length of the catheter. The water activates the hydrophilic surface, which makes the catheter slippery. Now we're ready to start the irrigation. Remove the rectal catheter from its packaging. Remember to keep the package. You'll need it for the disposal of the rectal catheter. Press the deflate button to proceed to the installation mode. Now insert the rectal catheter carefully. Press the inflate balloon button. You should inflate the balloon only as much as you need to prevent leakage during irrigation. You can stop the inflation at any time by releasing the button. Gently pull the catheter slightly down to seal the rectum. Now, to start the installation of water, press either the high flow or low flow button. Instill the volume of water indicated by your healthcare professional. Remember that you can always stop or pause the installation at any time by releasing the button. Once the desired amount of water is instilled, press the deflate balloon button to deflate the balloon. Once the balloon is totally deflated, the catheter may slide out by itself. If it doesn't, gently pull out the catheter and let it hang inside the toilet. Now, allow your bowel to empty. The evacuation time is individual and can vary from one day to another. Now you're done with the irrigation process. It's time to disassemble and clean your Navina Smart System. First, open the lid of the water container to minimize the pressure in the system. Next, remove the light blue connection from the control unit. Hold the tube in an upright position to empty water from the tubes into the toilet. Now, remove the tube with the dark blue connection from the control unit. 
Hold it high so that the remaining water flows back to the water container. Once the tubes are removed, turn the unit off and then turn the unit upside down into the toilet or sink to empty any remaining water in it. Next, we have the water container. Remove the dark blue connection from the water container and empty the remaining water. Lastly, we have the rectal catheter. Empty the catheter package from water. Holding the tube with the white connection, place the catheter back into the package. Now, disconnect the rectal catheter from the tube and dispose of it with its package with household waste. Rinse, clean, and dry the remaining parts of the system. All components, except for the single-use catheter, which should be disposed of after use, can be washed in mild, soapy water. The control unit can be wiped with mild, soapy water. Now, before packing everything up, make sure you transfer the data to the Navina Smart app. Turn on Navina Smart and stay on the welcome page. Now, open the Navina Smart app on your mobile device and follow the instructions provided in the app. The first time you start the app, you will have to answer a few questions. Then the app will pair with the control unit. Now it's time to synchronize. Select Synchronize in the main menu in the app. The Navina Smart Control Unit will turn off itself automatically once the data is transferred. Wrap things up by rating the irrigation uploaded in the app. Don't forget to charge your Navina Smart Control Unit when the battery indicator shows a low power level. That way, you'll have it ready to go for your next visit to the toilet.